Hey guys, uh, Rick here in the production studio of the Fultz Bailey Railroad. If you want to see how I took this messy airbrush station and turned half of it into a neatly uh, set up station, stay tuned because I'm going to show you what I used to do it. <laughs> So you guys were with me when I started this adventure of getting into airbrushing. Um, now, if you've seen my previous videos or heard me talk about it, I had never airbrushed before. So I'm fairly new to this, uh, maybe, I don't know, a month or two into it. So, of course, I had no idea what materials I needed, what uh, uh, products that I needed, any supplies that I needed. All of that was new to me. So I started acquiring things as I watched videos and, and other modelers do this. And of course, I've got a ton of stuff, uh, mainly just paints and supplies. Um, the problem is I didn't have anywhere to put it. So all this stuff kept building up on my workbench and um, it took up a lot of room. So I went looking for some sort of storage unit or system that could help me get this all organized. That's when I stumbled across this. So this is a wood kit, um, artist supply, paint rack stand, pigment ink bottle with large volumetric bottles and marker pen storage rack. Basically, it's a wood kit I found on Amazon to store all my paints and other supplies. Um, what I liked about it was it had, here, let's blow this up. Um, it's got these uh, little circle uh, cutouts in the wood kit that allowed me to store my paint. What caught, what caught my eye uh, were these little guys here because this is the paint jars that I would use for my one airbrush uh, gun. So the fact that they fit in there along with other paints, uh, that's what really, uh, really caught my eye. And uh, I don't have many of those bottles, but it fit just enough that uh, it has what I need right now. Um, these pen items that you see here, these other um, boxes, I I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. I don't have pens, um, but I'm pretty sure you can hold like paint brushes and other tools and tweezers and whatnot. So um, the, uh, the box itself has those two pen things that slide in the back, which is actually pretty convenient. But if you noticed from the picture, I'm actually going to have my uh, organizer pushed up against a wall. So uh, being that I'm not using both of those pen units, I'm just going to keep one stored in there and the other one, uh, as I start filling it up, maybe I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll pull the other one out if I need it. Uh, but the fact that this thing has two drawers that I can store supplies in and extra paint. So uh, let me shoot you over to a video where um, you'll see me actually putting this thing together. All right, so I sped this video up probably about, I don't know, three and a half times. So this is just going to be a time lapse of me putting it together. I apologize. There's some parts in here where I didn't have the camera in the right angle. Like right here, you can see me putting the bottom together and then the back bracing and then all the levels kind of fit on that. Um, there's also going to be a part in here where the camera starts doing an autofocus and it's going to get really, really funky. Um, again, I was on the floor shooting this from above and I wasn't aware of what's going on. Uh, but here I'm putting the side panel on. You can see all those pieces that kind of protrude through that side. And then I'm putting rubber bands on uh, all those little uh pieces that uh, puncture through. There's no glue involved in this entire build. It's all those little uh, protrusions and then um, the rubber bands. So I got all the ones on the other side. Um, you'll notice here's that uh, autofocus thing going. I think it's got to be a white balance because it's the only time it does it is when there's a lot of white showing. 
Anyway, um, if you do ever get the one of these kits or a kit like this, um, just note, at least with this one, they gave you just enough um, of those rubber bands. I think there was like one to spare. Um, so you got to be careful that you don't fling these things across the room. So I'm having a little difficulty here getting all the, uh, the pieces put in, but it's just a matter of, you know, trying to get all six together uh, to get them put together. Yeah, I forgot two of them on the one side. Not a not a, a hard uh, kit to do. I think in all it took me maybe about I'm going to say 25 minutes to put together. Maybe if that. And um, yeah, unfortunately there were it came with a set of instructions, but those instructions were kind of like six steps: do this, do this, do this, and it really didn't show you much of anything. Um, the seller did include a video on the Amazon page where I bought it from um, of someone else that was putting it together. Um, I watched the way they did it and I came up with my own style of doing it. Again, there's, there's always two ways to skin a cat. So I didn't completely follow their instructions or the way that they did it, um, but I got it done just the same. So no worries there. Yeah, see, I think when the camera hits a really white spot, it starts to do this autofocus thing. I'm going to have to look into that and find out what's going on. All right, so now the back is on. You can see I got the top uh, plate on. And really, that's it for the, for the unit. Now I'm going to start working on the, the drawers and the, um, uh, I believe they call it a pen holder. Um but it's not really a pen holder. Well, I guess it is. If you look at the um, description on Amazon, they show uh, pens. So, uh, yeah, these little units, they're pretty cool. I think I'm going to use them not for pens because I don't, I don't use, like, you know, paint pens or anything. Um, so I'll probably put, like, um, either... Um, some uh, some paint brushes or maybe some pipettes or you know tweezers or something in them and you can see once they're built they they just slide into the side there there's one on um on each side so you've got plenty of room to put you know anything that's small and cylindrical like that um plenty of room for them plenty plenty of holes to, to store things uh, because mine is uh, on, it's going to sit on the desk kind of up in the corner. I'm only going to use one of these primarily. Uh, the other one I'm just going to keep uh, tucked in the back there. Uh, so both of those things you can see fit in the, in the back side, and that's how they store. Um, so there are four drawers to this unit, and that's what I'm getting started on here. Um, the two of the drawers are, they're all the same uh, size and dimension as far as uh, width and depth. Uh, the two uh, drawers on the top are slightly smaller in height, um, which is actually kind of cool because uh, it fits an airbrush laying down perfectly. So I think that's where I might just store mine when they're not in use, of course. And again, this is just a bunch of putting pieces together and putting rubber bands around those little protrusions. And you can see those drawers go together really, really easy. So there's the, the two bottom ones is what I completed. And you can see right there, just from the side there, that drawer is probably about half the height of the other one. one all right last drawer and we are all done and put that in place 
And here's the unit. Two side bins, four drawers, and those holes will hold a four ounce jar of um, paint um, perfectly. I forget the dimensions. It was probably on the, on the page before, on the Amazon page. I forget the millimeter of the hole. Um, but the four ounce bottles fit perfectly and the uh, anything else that's smaller, like the two ounce bottles and even the, um, um, the paintbrush, uh, the paint holders for the, the siphon uh, airbrushes, they, they fit in there. They're not snug, but they fit in there so they won't fall all over your desk. So that's all I got, guys. I hope you, uh, you enjoyed that uh, little build. I'm going to throw a screenshot here uh, up of what the unit looks like just sitting on my desk. And, of course, you saw the before and after shots in the beginning of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, a link to this product down in the description. Um, I got another video coming up shortly to show you how I hooked up my airbrushes to the... Um, my big uh, five gallon uh, pancake air compressor because the little one that I bought that you guys saw me using live, um, I think I'm having issues with it. It's uh, the pressure's not right or something. So I got the parts to hook it up to the big guy because I want to try it on there. So I'll show you how I hooked it up, but I haven't tried it yet. So that might be uh, another video, might be another live session. We'll see. Until next time, Rail Riders. Let's ride these rails together. I'll see you.